Got any show for y'all. Got a damn good show. So, uh, damn good show. So, um, this white guy calls the cops on this black guy he works with. They had work. This is a work setting. This is not like, so it's like among private citizens. Yeah, so it's like me, you come to work, and I call the cops on one of the people that work for me. Yeah. You better have your damn, you better dot your eyes and cross your T's. Well, well, you do that because you open yourself liability. Yeah. Well, let's go to the first video. Check this out. So I'm leave with the box. So I'm come back without the box. Are you excited? <laughs> no. It's still, it's still outstanding. Like the hey, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. That's hey. all you need. You black. <laughs> you go to, I see him go out with the box. He comes back. There's no box. <laughs> You black? That's a bad combination. <laughs> but that this, this, this don't even seem real. He goes out with a box. He comes back with no box. He's got to be still. <laughs> Let's keep the. He don't uh, know what's in the box. Well, watch the video. But this is crazy. Hey, can you start it over? Take from the top. Take it from the top, man. Hey, man, you're tired of you doing this during Just the videos. Take it from the top. So I'm leave with the box. So I'm come back without the box. Are you excited? <laughs> no, it's still, it's still outstanding. Like the shipment still hasn't been scanned in. Okay. So we get no new variants to see what the they came back without it. Correct. I don't know if you just took it through a dumpster, maybe you shipped it somewhere else. We have no, we have, really have no idea. Oh. So it's just a BCM lower? Just a BCM lower. Okay. Well, he didn't scan the box. And what's his description? Gotta scan it. Blackmail. 62 blackmail, already 230 pounds. Okay. Um, we'll talk for a second, then we'll be in there. <laughs> so how do I, the owners want to address this with him first? Is that do I need, we put, is there anything we do to, to slow roll this or? Um, you call the cops. So, what we would do? So let, let me game plan with him. I want to make sure he's he's online with everything. But uh, just chill right here. We're gonna talk for a second. Okay. And then... I don't want to put the I don't want to put the owners in in the pitfall, right? Yeah, so... yeah. What the hell you call the cops for then? <laughs> What's your game plan, buddy? So, so we took off with it. We returned without it. Mm -hmm. But the they have video. Come. Okay, they have video of it. Okay. They don't know if they want to press charges yet, but what kind of charge is this? This would be a grand motion. Uh-huh. So yeah, it's felony. Yeah, so they want to press charges. Yeah. Also, it's a felony because of firearm. Yeah, firearm, correct. And then I run the case code so people can still carry in there. It, yeah, they can still carry in here. Um, so. I mean, if they want to confront them, like, you know, obviously we'd probably be there first them for get some yeah. still carry. Are they, are uh, DJ and Cole upstairs right now? Yes. Friends. Hey, walk us out like ain't nothing going on. What's going on? What? I'll explain everything in a second. Oh, yeah, really? I'll be serious. You got your idea? Man? Yeah. All right, so, man, this is crazy, bro. You see how the dude walked by and, like, nothing's going on? Yeah, white guys just walked by, like, ain't nothing going on. Didn't the black guys turn, like, <laughs> they were the cops here. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have a feeling it's for me because I'm black and all, you know? Yeah, he did look at his friend and say, hey, man, what the cops here, man? Why they looking at me like this? Oh, that's right. I, I called the cops on you. I think you're still there. Well, look, it's not looking good for the Negro. Yeah. The, the evidence is mounting. He had a box, went outside, came back in, no box. Yeah. That's a lot of evidence. Yeah. Now let's go to the next video. Hey, before we go to the video, like, we, we did this for a number of years. We used to be investigators, private investigators. Investigators for retail. We used to work for Ross hey, Dressler and yeah, see, and this, and this is what we used to do. We used to investigate internal theft. We as district investigators for Ross stores. We investigated <laughs> internal theft by employees. But before you sit down and confront or call the cops on somebody, 
You have to have overwhelming evidence. You have to have permission from HR. You got to dot your eyes and cross your T's and get signatures. And proofs. then, let me finish. Let me finish. And then you sit down with the interrogate them. And if they uh, confess, you have enough evidence to call the cops. More often than not, we don't even call the cops. We just want to get the bad employee out of there. I, I call the cops when I have videotape evidence of the crime. Well, I, didn't, I didn't send some Negroes to jail. Yeah, I sent a bunch of Negroes to jail, but it's not, you know, it's not set in stone. You don't have to. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to. Let's go to the next video. Thanks for cutting me off, though. Appreciate it. Oh. Saved by the freaking mailman. Hell yeah, yeah, appreciate you, sir. Yeah, I, uh, thank you for being cool with me and cooperative with me. Because I'm like, my man, I knew, like, I ain't yeah. just, like, it had to get worried out. Yeah. That kind of thing. And like I said, if that, if that happened and you were already in custody, then, like, you would have just been unarrested back out here. So I'm going to go in there, talk with them. All right? Energy drink, C4 on the it's right door. What kind? What, what, uh, what, uh... I forget what I bought it. Is it the red or the artist? No. Yeah, it's in the uh, San Eleven door. Okay. Yep. Cop did that investigation. Yeah, the justice system does work. Now the cop's gonna go talk to the uh, to, the, to his um, his supervisor. <laughs> hey. That's gonna be an uncomfortable working environment. <laughs> Look like he's the only black guy there. <laughs> you see all those black people there? Nah, you see nobody. That that's gotta be tough after your coworkers <laughs> call the cops on you. <laughs> well, who the hell's calling me? Oh, it's the wife. Gotta hang up on her. Why don't you cut the um, volume off? That's a good idea. It fix the problem. All right, let's go to the next video. Let's listen to that side of the story. Yeah, skateboards? Mm -hmm. Is it what is that? Of course it's that. Taylor, can you give us a break? I'm sorry. Can you punch out here for a second? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want nobody else to hear this. Get out. Shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> he sees a patriot. He's got a flag on his mug. Yeah. He's a patriot. So, 10 minutes after you guys left. This showed up. Can we open it and confirm it's in there? I, I know, but like. Nope. Right. As soon as Paul brought it in, he opened it. Oh, he did? He did. It's in there. I'm really happy that this happened. Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> I don't know what y'all's policy on like THC is here. You hear that? And yeah. stuff. He had a weed pen on him. Okay. Um, I was I was initially charging him with that, but they didn't grant it for me. What? Um, what the? Correct serial everything. Mm. Okay. Um, he showed me to his office. He wants me to get his car keys. All his stuff's right there. His car keys are right there. He has a C4 energy drink in the fridge. Okay. What do you want uh, and all this stuff boxed up and ready for them. Now when they fire you, right? Yeah, they give you that brown box to go fill all you put all your stuff in there. Yeah, take your now, pictures. Now you got take all your pictures down, put yeah. it in the box. All your food, all all this stuff you had around your desk. Yeah, but now they got a they didn't pack it for them. They got to give it back to them and say, uh, <laughs> "Go put your shit back." Yeah, go clock in and get your <laughs> shit done. That's like I said, we used to handle internal theft. And as a process, what they did, they opened up that company, that boss, to all, what's the word? What's the white? Liability. Yeah. And, that, and he black too? Oh, man, we talking millions. Don't let that lawyer Crump get a hold of this. Who? We're going to take y'all to the cleaners. Crump? That, that no, needs. get you a white attorney. Don't go with him. Get you a good white attorney from a good Harvard yeah. Ivy League school. He going to get you all kinds of I money. I don't think he trusts white people right now. He gonna go get him a Negro. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? They bring him back. They's like that. They, they found a, man. They was still trying to get him on something. It's like when the, the cops are trying to get hey, something man, on stop him. Stop cutting me off. <laughs> it's like police officers forgot they 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 work for us. They protect and serve. Stop cutting me off.
You ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to fill in the blanks. No, you seem like you lost for words. I'm helping no, you out. I'm, I'm trying to come up with some shit to say. And you just keep. Look, like when the cops get there, okay, they got to do an investigation. But it seems like the more they dig and dig, they can't find anything. So, man, I got to get him on something. <laughs> he say, he's hey, I found a weed pen. What's your policy on that? I'll lock his ass up for it. You know? It's like they forgot their, their role and responsibilities is to protect and to serve. It's not to throw you in jail when you when someone calls the cops on you. You're supposed to find out the truth. Well, the cop, the cop should know. I know this. I, I watch Law & Order. I know this. Yeah. That pen, that te- that weed pen, that's, that's fruit from the poisonous tree. You didn't have a right to stop it to begin with. It was a right. false allegation. They made a mistake. Yeah. So whatever, even if he had like 10 bags of Coke on him. He had, y'all, had a kilo of cocaine on him. It, you have to throw that out What's because that? y'all stopped him for an erroneous reason. <laughs> <laughs> what you call it? Uh, uh, fruit from the forbidden tree. I learned that on <laughs> Law & Order. <laughs> fruit from the poisonous tree. Yeah. Forbidden tree. Oh, I, yeah, that's something I think. I was thinking about the Bible. You were supposed to eat the apple. Yeah. Remember they ate it? Yeah. I said, yep, I'm going to kill both of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't kill them. What did he do? I don't know. I got to read I'm my Bible a, some more. What happened to Adam and Eve when he ate that apple? I think uh, Eve turned into a whore. And um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Hey, it's a happy ending. <laughs> show's over. Hey, we got God new giveaway. God said it's okay. <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway going. We give away a Ford F-250 hey, hey, and hey. 10,000 cash. Hey. The end of the win. Hey, Go to fishrtwins.com. Anything you bought from the site, get you automatically. End of the win. I thought they was going to drown the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs>